What's going on guys? Welcome back to beautiful South Texas. In this video, we're going to talk about time and the relationship with money. So stay tuned. So what's going on guys? Welcome back to The Country Investor. My name is Robert. If this is your first time tuning in. All right guys, so let's go ahead and get into this video. Hopefully I can provide you with some type of positive outlook in life, positive outlook with money and time with that relationship. And uh, hopefully moving forward, it, it will benefit you in some way. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe on this video. That definitely helps out the algorithm and they'll tell YouTube, hey, push it out to other people. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's just get into it. So let's just say every morning before work, you stop and you get yourself $10 worth of Starbucks. I don't drink Starbucks, but I know it's expensive. I don't know exactly how much everything costs, but I know it's pretty pricey. Every morning, $10, right? Okay, well, you look at it, um, not too big of a deal. It's $10, right? Most people would. I would too. So it's $10, no big deal. You do that Monday through Friday. Say you work Monday through Friday. That's $50 a week. Not too big of a deal, right? Eh, it's a little pricey, but eh, you can you can you can swing it, right? Well, what if we look at it this way? So, yes, you spent fifty dollars, but what if you are working at McDonald's, making ten dollars an hour, getting Starbucks coffee? Okay. McDonald's you typically typically pays minimum wage, but for this scenario, we're going to go ahead and say that they're paying you ten dollars an hour. So they're paying you ten dollars an hour. And you're spending fifty dollars a week right now you're basically giving mcdonald's five hours of your life just to go and enjoy that starbucks coffee why are you giving them why how how does that work okay so you are spending ten dollars a day times five days that's fifty dollars mcdonald's is paying you ten dollars an hour it's going to take you five hours of your life just to be able to afford to pay for that Starbucks coffee or muffins or whatever you're getting. So that's five extra hours of your life you're going to have to spend working. Again, you, most people won't see this until you're, you know, later in life when you're having to work into 70, 80, you know, way past retirement age. That's typically when you'll see it compounded, all the mistakes you made in your earlier life, um, having to work so late into your life, into your quote unquote golden years. Um, but once you start to think about money, as far as time in that way, if you have a, a traditional job that pays you hourly and you start to take um, items, regular everyday items, products or services that you are looking to buy, things that are typically not necessities, and you start to look at them in hours um, and or hours of your life that you're having to give up for that specific item or service or whatever, you start to think differently about, about how you're gonna go about spending your money. Because you're looking at it and say, I want to buy, I don't know, this thing here, right? So these things actually are a little pricey, but this is for a business. So it's a little bit different situation. But um, say I want to buy this for my house, right? It's not going to produce any income for me. It's not going to do anything for me. It's just for me to enjoy, say it costs $400. Well, now $400 at $10 an hour, that's, that's a lot of time. That's what, 40 hours? So at 40 hours, I'm going to have to dedicate 40 hours of my life just to have this. Again, this is for saying it's not for a business. This is saying it's for my personal use. Is this truly, truly worth 40 hours of my life? Am I going to get, is, am I going to get that kind of um, return on investment as far as joy or enjoyment of this product? Probably not. I probably, if I bought it for myself, I probably wouldn't buy it, honestly. Um, but there are certain things I could justify, but, um, like for me, it'd be like a boat. I like to go out in the boat, stuff like that, that I could justify. So make sure when you look at products next time that you can justify that you would actually get that kind of return on that investment or that purchase, not really investment, that purchase. Um, is it really going to provide you with that much joy, that much benefit, added benefit to your life? where you can justify spending 40 hours of your life working extra. If it's not, then it's probably not a good purchase. Um, so that has kind of helped me to steer me towards, you know, purchasing things that I kind of more need um, till I get to where I want to be, then you can kind of splurge. Once you get to the point where um, most people call it FU money, but once you get to that point where you're very, very well off or you're you know, you have all your bills covered by passive income and things like that, then it typically doesn't really matter as much. 
But when you're trying just to get to that point, everything you do, um, it really gets compounded. All the mistakes you make early on get compounded and push you further and further and further behind. So if you just change the mindset of, you know, think of it in time, you can get to that milestone or to that goal um, a lot sooner, a lot faster. Um, I know it's easy to get deterred and taken off the, off the path, but hopefully this helped you guys out. It's a quick, short video. Um, that's how it's kind of helped me change my mindset and how I think about money. So without further ado, guys, appreciate you guys watching. Until next time, be careful, be good, take care, and God bless. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.